God is a champion. Yes. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. God told Joshua, be strong and very courageous. Amen. He didn't just tell him be courageous. He said be very courageous. You got to put an adjective on the beginning of of that word. That's like a lot of courageousness. He told him three times, and, that, and as long as the enemy has courage to have force against you, you're going to have to apply some force back against the enemy. Somebody say amen. 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 You know what that means when the enemy comes against you? You don't hold anything back when the enemy attacks you. The enemy is attacking Harder than he ever has in 2024 in every aspect of our life right now. He's attacking our schools. Yeah. He's attacking our, our city. He's attacking our churches. He's yeah. attacking the kids. He's attacking our whole world with war. And he's coming out at us full force with everything he has. Amen. But the Bible says that the kingdom of God yeah. suffereth violence. And that sounds kind of funny right there. When it sounds like the kingdom of God, like something bad's happening to the kingdom. But it actually means totally the opposite. So it says, the kingdom of God suffereth violence. And that word suffereth means it applies violence. The kingdom applies violence. When you're a part of the kingdom, you cause trouble for the enemy's kingdom. You're yeah. causing yeah. violence towards the enemy's camp. Amen. There's a clash of the kingdom. That's why you feel so much resistance when you live for God. It's the enemy trying to force his will on you. But he can't defeat, but he isn't going to defeat you, and he can't defeat defeat you because the next part of the verse says, and the violent take it by force. Before you ever became part of God's kingdom, you were captive in hell, and God had to storm the gates of hell to get you out of there with these military tactics. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. With these military tactics, you were part of hell's kingdom, and you were a slave to the kings of the world until somebody preached the gospel to you. That word gospel in Greek is uh, evangelion. It means the good news. It was a military term. They would say evangelion, evangelion. We got good news. Our army won. Our king reigned. We won the battle. Evangelion, evangelion. And they would go through the city and they would tell everyone. Hallelujah. I came to tell someone today there is a king and he never lost yeah. the battle. He Amen. Hallelujah. Somebody say praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. 